Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm in Birmingham. I've come to specifically try this restaurant, a lamb restaurant, Coventry Road. You can see super busy as always. I've been told it's stunning inside and they have good food by my fellow reviewers. So I thought, I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring. Let's see how I find it. Head inside, let's check it out. So I hear they've got a really nice uh, seating in the courtyard, which I will check out in a second, guys. But sort of first impressions really, lovely. I'm liking the, uh, the Japanese blossom tree. <laughs> There's a, an upstairs, lots of seating here, but we're gonna go straight outside. Okay, so this is the outside. Ooh, got my main table yet, but I wouldn't mind having some food on this. This is a, a, a lovely, a lovely swing. Ooh, the world's biggest bench, that is massive. And I think that's the courtyard. Get around very quickly, and then I'm gonna order my food. Ooh. There's a big old mirror there as well. So I think I'll be sitting in here, but I'll show you down there in a second too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down, I'm actually going to order my food, and then I'll probably show you the other part of the restaurant. It looks lovely. They look like little cabins. It's really nice and warm, but I do like the look of it in here actually. It's stunning. It's really pretty, really nice sort of seating arrangement. I've ordered a good selection of food, so I may as well show you those cabins now. I believe they're just down here. Oh, I don't know what's going Oh, they must do shisha, guys. That's made me very happy. Okay, they. Um, oh, this is, do you know what? This is lovely. This feels like I'm in Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. This is the Shire. <laughs> oh, do you know what? This is actually really stunning. All jokes aside, I would love, I would love to sit here with like friends and family and have something to eat on like a nice day. That would be stunning. One of the nicest or quirkiest seating arrangements of any restaurant I have seen. I just hope the kind of food matches up to that. But in terms of the seating, gorgeous. It's stunning. Um, they've got a different, I'm gonna go for a la carte menu, but they've got like a Sunday roast. They've got afternoon tea. That all sounds good, but so far, very impressed. Back to my table. So yeah, the restaurant definitely lives up to the hype in terms of the visuals, the seating, the decor. I love the outdoor semi-outdoor because we're in the courtyard and then proper indoor that they've got i think that's a lovely touch but uh, i've ordered my food that's really what i'm here for that will kind of put the cherry on top of the proverbial cake so let's try it i hope it's good oh and if you're new here i release content every single week for birmingham manchester london all over the place really kind of all over the world it's all halal foodie content so if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date okay guys so this is the mixed grill i do like a mixed grill thought i'd try it also water dry eye so that should be quite theatrical i'm looking forward to that we've got a beautiful looking samosa jar. i thought i would try these i don't like prawns but they're popular so i thought i'd give them a go and then some funky drinks. I think everything looks really good so far. This is kind of like a, a cool wave of food. This looks good. I'm looking forward to it tucking in. So we're gonna do the dry ice thing. I've never done this before, so. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I've never done that before. That was scary and fun. What to go for first? We've got mains coming, but I think I'll try a chop. Let's give this a go then. Oh, these are nice, they're spicy. There's a really good amount of spice into those. They're quite soft, they're chunky as well. There's a good amount of meat going on there. Good little starters. We've got a good amount of food here. We've got a couple of wings, two different types of Sikh kebab. I imagine there's a meat and a chicken one, a couple of spring rolls. There's, I believe, some fish going on. There's a good amount of food here. Let's try the body next, why not? They do give you sauces and stuff, but I just kind of fancy trying this on its own for a second. I like the chicken, the chicken's really soft. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, little dippy poo. It's just me, it's delicious. Really good starters. I'm looking forward now to the mains, if I've been honest with you. Plenty more food to go. In fact, this samosa chart has been looking at me for a while. How pretty is that? Does that not just look gorgeous? That's presented so well. I love the look of all the sauces. Um, I can practically taste the tamarind. Let's grab a fork and let's try this. Oh, I've not had a good samosa chart in a while. That goes. That's absolutely delicious. I love the sauces. I love the pastry and the small size. Still got a tiny bit of crunch to it, which is quite hard to kind of manage when there's so many sauces. That is really tasty. I quite like that. It's a good amount of spice to that as well. The other chole, the chickpeas coming in. Good amount of onion in there. My brother MB hates onions. He might not like the onion in there, but I love it. I think it's delicious. Shout out to Munchbox actually and Hello Munchies. They both came here. And when they came here, they made it look so good. I was like, I need to try it too. I would love to have that as a starter with someone because portion 
it's massive so I wouldn't have that on my own because that would probably fill up most of you so I think maybe having that with someone like sharing it would be better so apparently if we do this this should have the some dry ice in here so it should have a, a cool effect oh oh hello it does Let, let's do the other one as well then I always think small touches like this kind of fancy fireplace because honestly the pricing wise I think it's pretty decent beautiful seating and really good food so far as well we've still got the mains to go that's when i'll give like kind of my final conclusion but so far i'm enjoying the starters oh that is i think that's the uh, mojito i asked them to get me two of the most popular drinks so my brother brought out a green one and this i imagine strawberry no, I think that's raspberry i think actually these two are absolutely delicious if i was coming here i wouldn't get like a coke coke's a bit boring when you've got these fancy drinks with the dry ice and stuff i'm gonna um continue to drink those actually they're really good and let's continue on with this. I think we're gonna go for, let's go for, do you know, let's go for a wing. You really can't go wrong with a nice grilled wing. The wings are delicious. The grilled meats on here so far have been very good. I think if I was coming here, if there was a few of us, we'd get the chart and we'd get the mixed grill, but kind of as a starter or as a side, and then probably move on to main, which I think I'm gonna do any second now, because I'm excited now. Now that I've had some of this, I'm excited to go for mains. Not many places have these kind of grilled potatoes on their mixed grill. I think that's nice. I like a nice hot potato. Normally you just get meat. I like that. Oh, I forgot to squeeze the old uh, lemon on there. Potato is actually so soft. I think I'm gonna to have, to, I can't believe I'm dropping it for a potato. That is getting a hay bag. That's actually really good. I don't have to do a whole portion of these. I would get these on their own. That's actually unreal. Super soft, really spicy, little tiny crisp on the outside. That's really good. You know, whenever you fry anything, it instantly gets better. Chicken, fry it, better. Potatoes, fry them, better. Same with these. I did this thing a while ago when I was trying to be super healthy and watching my calories. I actually air fried all my spring rolls. Worst thing I ever did in my life. Fry them, infinitely better. So, the next thing touch nervous because honestly I thought these would be super popular I think they are but I'm just not a massive fan of prawns I like that you get um, lettuce so you can have like a lettuce sandwich but uh, just, I'm not a fan I'm just not a fan of prawns you know like it's one of them things guys the sauce is nice if you're a dynamite prawn fan you will like the sauce you will like the batter and you'll like the prawns you'll probably like those but I'm just not a fan of prawns it's just one of those things but I think dynamite prawn fans unite because you'll probably enjoy that this guys is unreal look how juicy that is it's like juicy it's not too fatty it's not too spicy this is actually lovely okay so you guys know that i do not like biryani at this point i think everyone knows i do not like biryani however people are telling me the biryani here is nice it's one of their best sellers so i've ordered it i don't know if i've shot myself in the foot again but I've, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, guys. Let's hope I like it. If this place can convert me to biryani, you know it's a good one. So yeah, let's do it. So this is the biryani that I mentioned a moment ago. The ajay gorsh looks unreal. Does that not look just delicious, guys? We've got a boat full of raita, and then we've got a plain naan, and then I thought I'd try the chili cheese naan. That's a bit different, isn't it? Okay, so to be fair, that actually looks pretty good. Chicken biryani plate um, the chicken behind looks good the uh I did, oh no this one's not as hot actually this one's okay this uh this is a jarred gosh so i'm looking forward to trying i haven't had like an ajari sort of chicken gosh curry kind of thing for a while and then come on chili cheese no that's a bit different i think what i'll do is i'll probably go for the gosh first i think we're gonna get some of the plain naan first actually we're gonna get some of this and we're gonna go straight into that gosh The flavor of the ajar comes through so nicely. Ajar can be quite overpowering. This is perfect because I can still taste the RD really well. I can still taste the ajar. And the actual gorsh is incredibly soft. This guy is absolutely delicious. Really hot, really fresh. The big portion as well, the lamb bought it. The actual gorsh in that, the lamb is delicious. Super soft. One of the better jar dishes I've had at all in Berlin. This guy is. He's getting it. He's getting a hey man. If you're coming here, 
Make sure you try this, it's delicious. Maybe a little bit of raita. This is like a massive portion of raita, right? A little bit of raita with that. I'm not genuinely a fan of raita, but I think with this it'll go well, it'll balance it really well. But I think what I'm gonna do now, I have to do it. I have to try the chili cheese now, and then the biryani. Now let's try the biryani. So, I mean, I'm happy already. This has got one hey man, which means it's a good restaurant. It's just, I don't like biryani. It's just one of those things, man, but I'm gonna try my best. Let's try this then. If you can see, there's like little uh, little bits of chili and little bits of cheese in there. Oh, spiciness from the chili, the actual cheese adding indulgence and kind of a mellow flavor. With this, oh, do you know what? The naan are nice, they're really decent, they're fresh, they're really good. But get this one though, add the chili, add the cheese. I've not seen chili cheese naans in many places, so do not miss out on that. If you come in here, don't miss out on that with this gorge. I am so blown away by the mains. The mains are really good. So yeah, the naan and the the, um, the jarred gorge, delicious. I kind of fancy some chips with it. I got my other chips from the starts packed away. I think chips with the main would be good. Chips dipped in curry, ah, oh, that is good. That's a good combination. But uh, okay, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Oh, it's still hot, it's still hot. Um, okay, so we're gonna try the biryani. The only place I've ever enjoyed biryani is in Dubai at Pakliari. Apart from that, it's not my thing, but we're gonna try this. So there is like a precedent for me enjoying biryani once in Dubai, but that's it. I just It's just one of those things. People always tell me to try like theirs or wherever they're from or their mums or their sisters. Maybe I've not had biryani in the right way. Honestly, I've had it kind of all over the world in variety of countries. It's just not my thing. I don't enjoy it, but the one in Dubai, Pakliari, that was good. So hopefully this can join the ranks of ones that I like. Because um, you guys are telling me it's nice here. It's one of the things I should get. So I'm gonna honor that and, and try it. I thought I was gonna hate that. You know what? I enjoy that. I am so confused right now. I think I'm gonna get a bit of data. Have it with this, with a bit of chicken. I think I like that. I am very surprised. I was expecting to do a alhamdulillah for food. It's not much of my taste, but alhamdulillah, but I really enjoy that. This is probably the best biryani I think I've had for a while. And like I said, I'm not a fan at all, but this is really tasty. Got to bring the camera nice and close to really emphasize how much of a surprise that was. I can't believe I like that. I like that a lot. Man, this it's still, still hot. <laughs> I need to remember that. It's actually really good. Okay, so I need to do the outro. What I might do is sit on the world's biggest bench. I don't know if you can see the, I might put a picture on here. I took one because uh, if you can see the size difference between the bench and me, this is, this is really cool. I can give you my phone. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to sit on that there actually as I give you my final thoughts. Um, okay, firstly, what I'll say is I'm going to record a video for the Sunday roast which is quite hard to find a fully halal Sunday roast. So that's coming, uh, that's definitely coming. But in terms of this was the kind of a la carte menu. This is, do you know what, I like the swing. Oh, I like the, <laughs> I like the swing. So, thoughts here, beautiful seating. I really enjoy, it's so hard to find like a lovely uh, a restaurant that's unique like this, you know? So you've got indoor, kind of, kind of indoor, which is a courtyard, then you've got proper outdoor, which is the cabins with great food. Reasonably priced, ah, oh, this is just a bit of a gem for me. I would 100% bring my family here. In fact, that's what I am gonna do. Ah, oh, really good. I would come here again. I wish I had people with me uh, to enjoy it. They also do shisha. Um, if you're into that, they have that too, which I think is cool. I imagine that would be sort of outside. You have to do that. I'm not really sure how that works, but they do have shisha. Uh, I might ask them how that really works. Food delicious, pricing great. The seating for me, just unreal. Highly recommend. If you're in Birmingham or if you're gonna sort of come to Birmingham, if you're driving through, pop in here, check out a lamb restaurant. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. Make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. Uh, like the video to help it spread. In fact, there's another video up there if you guys wanna check out another video. I'm gonna film another one here for the Sunday Roast. If you wanna see that, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.